Congress takes regulatory aim at social media or it's time to stop evil big social. My name is Paul Gordon and this is iState.tv's News Watch. And this is actually the last time I'm going to do this segment, which it's called uh, News Watch. I'm going to change these. These are going to be called iTalks. These are commentary segments and that's what this is right now this is a little commentary segment on a uh, little news coming out of that that favorite place that we all love to focus so much attention on that little swamp land called washington dc so it seems that the boys and girls of D.C. have found a reason to come together and join hands in a fitting symbol of unity that is sure to warm the cockles of the hearts of those who welcome a short leash. Hey, unity! Yay! The boys and girls I'm talking about, though, are the narcissistic, megalomaniacal... Wow, I said the word. I didn't screw it up. Megalomaniacal 535, whatever the number is, members of Congress who believe that a few hundred people can get together and come up with rules of engagement that will be dictated to over 300, 300 million people. Really, though, for, for, for any, 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 any segment that I do about legislators preparing to take action on any matter, I could easily begin with those opening paragraphs because it's always true. In this case, beginning this article or this uh, video, which is from the article on iState.tv that I wrote, beginning with these paragraphs is especially true given the nature of the, I'm going to put this in quotes, matter, that these 535 yahoos are finding themselves coming together to address. The matter being taken up is this. How do we handle these social medias? There's so many of our, our constituents that are that are on the social medias. Why, why they're getting so big that we cannot control the narrative as easily as we once did. Plus, the owners of these platforms appear to want to use these platforms to push their own particular agendas. And that's, that's not cool, man. It's not cool at all. The MSM, which is to the free press what Volkswagen was to the free market in Nazi Germany. For those playing along at home, by the way, Volkswagen was independently owned but controlled by the Hitler regime uh, through through regulations and other means. Nonetheless, uh, the, the, the MSM is taking to referring to the targets of these 535 interlopers of liberty as big social. <laughs> That's right. You know you're evil when the media starts referring to you as big something, like 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 big business or big go whoa, 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 whoa. Well, not that. Now it is true that uh, five hundred and thirty five wannabe bosses of three hundred plus million people are coming together against big social, but they're coming at it from from different angles, and that would be from the so-called left and the so-called right. The fact that big social is in the crosshairs of both parties means there will be plenty of compromise as both sides come together to write legislation that will create an army of big social regulators, which will assure that big social doesn't do those things that the Dems and the Republicans don't want it to do. Of course, the efforts to keep up with what will be ever-shifting regulations will cost money. The efforts to lobby Congress members and regulators to make the kind of regulatory changes that will advantage your company will also cost money. For this reason, I, I'm going to say it right here and right now, and I hope my brother is watching, and I'll make sure that he watches and he sees this part. Because I'm willing to bet my brother's collection of helmets 
and and he loves that collection. So I'm really going big on this one. That big social will embrace these regulations because they will do what so many other regulations do. They'll they'll raise the cost of doing business, thus assuring that the chances of alternative social media platforms emerging are reduced, perhaps exponentially. I don't know, could, could we like reverse exponentially? Well, let's just say that they will be reduced bigly. <laughs> yes, bigly. I think that's the appropriate word here. As big media writes, uh, you see what I did there, right? Big media. Yeah. You get it right. These are the jokes, folks, okay? these This is the best I got as far as jokes are concerned. Congress just wants to stop Big Social from allowing the evil Russians to spread their fake news and buy their ads that help them spread their propaganda. The 535 pre-selected and then sort of but not really elected wannabe rulers over 300 plus million people just want to protect us from our own idiocy. Can't you see? Keep the dangerous propaganda off our feeds and streams and whatnot so that we don't get brainwashed by a nation state trying to tell us how to think, act, and gasp, even vote. That's our job. Thank you very much. Now, the Dems, well, they just don't want a Hillary 2.0 where they run a fantastic candidate, one who goes about the business of alienating half the voting population by calling them deplorables, big bigots, and uh, unredeemable uh, to, to get done in by the Russians on Facebook because it was the Russians. It wasn't that. It was the Russians. She was an excellent candidate, of course. Of course, of course she was an excellent candidate. Democratic Senator Mark Warner told the press, a.k.a. Big Media, as more and more dollars are being spent on these digital platforms, we may need legislation to require more disclosure about political ads running on social media, the way we do for television ads. The ads you may see on Facebook are not public and are targeted narrowly to users based on different valuable variables, making disclosure and transparency even more vital. See, they're just trying to protect us from ourselves. And they just, 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 listen, man. Come on, man. You, you gave in on the whole TV thing. Come on. You guys can give in on this uh, whole big social thing. Come on. Let us in. Let us in. They're pounding outside the door. Let us in. Let us in. Let us in. So <laughs> the Republicans, why, they just want to assure that no foreign nation state has the power to use social media to propagandize to any American. Now, pay no attention to the army of trolls the U.S. government pays to get on big social and push a pro-gov agenda. That's totally cool because it's like us doing it to ourselves. So it's, it's, it's kind of like this. Don't beat my kids. I'll beat my kids. It's cool if I beat my kids because I know the kinds of beatings that they need. And besides, they're my kids, not yours. But the Republicans are also upset with big social because, well, frankly, their selective targeting of offensive, hateful speech seems to strategically target conservative views. Now, I would have to say that these guys do have a point, but uh, we are talking about a privately owned entity, not a state-run public space. So Big Social does seem to be primarily run by progressive social justice, save the world by making everyone think like a liberal kind of folks. So maybe the government should get involved to protect the Republicans and the conservatives from this kind of market pressure. There ought to be a law. Well, wait, maybe, maybe you could build your own alternative platforms. Or, or maybe you could write laws to stop big social from using their privately owned platforms to advance the agendas they want to advance. Honestly, that last part, it sounds so much easier. Also, it has the added benefit of not creating more social media platforms that could diffuse the opportunities for 535 wannabe rulers over 300 million plus people to more easily control and monitor the social media activities 
of its 300 million plus kids. Oh, by the way, congratulations, everyone. If you're watching this, we found your moms and dads, everyone, and they're Congress people. So, hey, congrats. There are no orphans in America. Everyone has parents, and they're all in D.C. This talk of reigning in the out-of-control Leviathan known as Big Social will only be increasing over the coming weeks and months. So I'm, hold on, I'm going to do it. Hold on. Prepare yourselves. This right here. This is the hat of predictability. This is the hat of predictability. This is what I use to to see into the future. And I'm looking into the future, and I can see. Hmm. You will begin to see stories covered by big media that highlight abuses by social media, dangers of social media, as they attempt to propagandize to the kids in an effort, ooh, ooh, I'm seeing it, to get them to accept the notion that their moms and dads in D.C. need to regulate big social because big social is bad. Mm, hold on. Big social is bad, okay? And they need protected from big social by big gov, the only big that is benevolently, benevolently big. So for my part, I don't need another set of moms and dads, and I know, don't need to be protected from my thoughts or from the thoughts of others. And, and yeah, as much as I abhor the neoliberal tactics being deployed by big social, I would rather not open the door for big gov to come riding in to ostensibly protect me. When you invite wolves in to protect you from dogs, eventually the wolves turn on you. But in this case, big gov is much worse, much, much more ruthless than, than wolves. So this has been I Say News Watch, which, which was soon to become iTalk. If you like this video, be sure you like, share, comment, uh, invite your friends to the iState party, and above all else, subscribe to our channel. Right here it is. It's the iState channel on the tubes of you. And when you subscribe, be sure you hit the bell right there. Hit that bell. Make sure you get notifications for all the latest videos. I am Paul Gordon with iState.tv. I will see you the next time I create a video. That's right. When you're watching this video, I can magically watch you. No, I can't really. So it's a metaphorical I will see you.